Hey everyone, Martin here, and today I'm going to be doing another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to the Ruby Volume 6 trailer. It just came out today, and I'm just getting back after school to watch it, so let's get right into it. Bam! Winter is coming. It's important not to lose sight of what drives us. Love. Justice. Reverence. But the moment you put your desires before my own, they will be lost to you. This isn't a fright. This is simply the truth. Okay. Okay, obviously it's the trailer, so it's gonna be short, but I'm gonna go through that bit by bit to see what's here. Um, obviously, this shows them in Atlas somewhere. Well, the screen doesn't show, but I'll put pictures here. Um, we got all of Team Ruby, Crow, Oscar, walking through the snow with Yang using Bumblebee, her bike. Um, to carry this elderly woman, uh, no, don't know the importance yet, but we'll probably find out then. Um, little detail that I do like, like everyone else is in their normal gear and like clothing, but Weiss has like the stockings or tights and whatever and a scarf, so she won't be that cold. Um... And obviously there's going to be a conversation here, and you can see that the relic is actually on uh, Ruby's uh, belt thing. And it looks like uh, Yang is a little tired of pushing the bike around. <laughs> oh god. Um, this shows them probably at the airport or train station, probably train station based on the trailer of them being there, I guess. <laughs> them being in the train station. Um, um, dead White Fang members for the next scene. Probably leading up to Adam cutting the throne that we see later. Um, this part where we see what looks to be... Um, are these normal people or are they fondest? Okay, they look like normal people, but we see a guy just floating down, which is obviously you don't know who, so yet to be revealed. And you have Salem doing her little spiel. And you have Tyrion going up to Emerald, in, I'm guessing a threatening way, and literally cutting his own cheek on her blade, which I did miss the first time. Um, and we have the train scene, which I'm assuming is after they get on from that train station part, uh, where they get attacked by Grimm, and it looks like to be a Alpha Beowulf. So when I initially recorded this, I thought that the Grimm in the train scene was an Alpha Beowulf based on the merch item on the Rooster Teeth store. Looking at it closer in post, I do see that it is a new type of Grimm that seems to be dog-like based on its head and with having four legs. And it has a spiked mane with horns and black wings. It appears to have the like semi-style of a manticore, which I will show on screen right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if it has some sort of scorpion tail on it. And that's pr pretty much all I have to say, so I'll just cut back to the main video. It's really cool to see a new Grimm, though. Got Ruby rushing through the train station, don't know why yet, so that crow slicing up Grimm. Uh, 
Jean and Nora working together. Like, everyone's protecting the train. Then we have this lady. You won't see it here, but bam, this lady. Uh, wasn't your fan? We don't know who she is, but probably we'll find out. <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. And it seems to be like some sort of um, bargain of, sor of sorts, because you can see like a bag of Lien on the uh, table for, with the hooded person. Don't know who it is, so mysteries. So it looks like I missed more stuff from the trailer that I didn't point out in the video. So another one of these things. Um, one of the scenes was Ruby looking at the relic in the snow, what appears to be after the train crashed, with uh, small dust vials on the ground next to her feet. Um, I don't know what this could entail for what the scene plays out, but obviously this should be after a train crash, so I don't know what else for that. Um... After you have Yang, um, and, like, activating her weapon in Basilica with Ru the rest of Team Ruby around her, which seems to be, like, probably getting ready to defend the, uh, the train. Then we have a scene with Salem and Emerald together, and it seems to be a confrontation probably leading up to the Tyrion thing later, or earlier, I guess. And then it leads up to what this video falls in right now. Then we have Adam going to the throne and slicing it up. Don't know why, but edgelords be edgelords. Um, Oscar falling down for I don't know why, but... This Team Ruby obviously would be concerned. Um, you have this close-up of this lady right here, and it looks like, good pick, no, little pick, what? okay, so she's, she's, oh, getting closer look, she has these little technological goggle things, which I assume would be her version of glasses. Um, she has a cane with a decorated skull on top of it, which is interesting. Might be her weapon at this point. Um, obviously, this might be when the... Or not obviously, but it could be when the train is being attacked. Uh, come on. Then we have flower power with... Uh, well, it looks like... Oh, yeah. Uh, Ren was sling... Yeah. Ren was swinging Nora around while she was shooting off her grenade launcher, and I'm assuming that he would be shooting his uh, his guns while swinging around too, so it's like a dual thing. Um, you have Ruby using the combination attack while carrying someone, like she did in the beginning of Volume 4 with Nora, but it looks like this time it's Weiss. Um, then we have this shot of all with Team Ruby on top of the train when she says, don't let anybody else die. Obviously, that's... Well, that's going to be referencing like everything that's happened up to this point with the amount of death that's happened, along with probably the amount of people that have probably been killed due to their grim attack on the train, because, well, not everyone exactly has a good aura or a defensive aura. And that's actually the end of the trailer. Yep, end of the trailer. So, I managed to make a reaction video for a 1 minute and 30 second video trailer. Technically 1 minute. Uh, around 8 minutes nine minutes long, I guess, but yeah, really good for the trailer. They show some beginning scenes and a little bit of things that keep it like hooked in, like who is that and what is their purpose for that? And you get to see like the characters that we haven't seen last volume, i.e. Tyrion. And we get, and it's just showing that we get to see more of them. And obviously you got Team Ruby back all back together. Let's go, you get 
fumbling my words here. Uh, you get to see them all like interact again for the months that they've been apart. And yeah, I've heard that they have a good story for this volume around. And well, I guess that's kind of it. I I haven't watched. I don't really plan on seeing the first episode in theaters. Um, I heard that they did it, they showed a scene at New York Comic Con, but I only heard one thing from that, and that's just going to send shippers crazy. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, thank you all so much for watching this reaction video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. Hashtag volume, Ruby Volume 6 hype. Um, I don't really have much else to say in, for that. Um, yeah, I guess share it with a friend if you think they'll like it too. And, yeah. And I'll see you later this week for the song cover. See ya.